Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars. Now, Kevin Prince Boateng is a former player for Portsmouth. He played for AC Milan, played for, um, you know, Hertha Berlin, played, he played a lot of clubs. Now, he was on Vibrate 5, that is with Will Ferdinand and others on a podcast. He has said a lot on Ghana Black Stars 2014 Brazil World Cup saga. You know, he has revealed a lot and we'll check it out. And Asamwajan, he has come out to actually put some things right. According to him, he says that the truth is once. We will check out Asamwajan's response because today, a lot of people were asking Asamwajan question that why were you not also fighting for Kevin Prince Watson because he accused the Black Stars players that they didn't fight for him. Well, we will check out all those details in this one. We also have some Ghanaian players. Um, today, Inyak Williams played. He did everything. Six shots. He couldn't score a goal. Well, we will check some few things. Um, Nicolas Opoku also excited on his Black Stars call up and more on this channel. Before we delve into the details, anytime you join me, please don't forget to like the video. After that, if you are new, subscribe to this channel, put us on post notification so that anytime you drop a latest update, you'll be notified and also enjoy the video. Please like, like for me and also leave a comment. I'll give shout out to those who commented under the last but one video on this one. Now, let's quickly begin from here. I don't know if you have watched that video um, of Kevin Prince, but in speaking on Vibrate 5, on a podcast which is um, you know owned by Rufen, a former Manchester United player. He said that 2014 World Cup, he went to question the Ghana um, FA president about you know their bonuses and other incentives and um, because of that they said well he has not done good so early morning he saw a paper being put you know under his door and um, upon reading that particular paper or upon reading that letter he saw that yes he had been sacked from the camp so they asked him to leave by 15 minutes time when he asked Sule Muntari, Sule Muntari also said yes he has also gotten the same letter but as Samoja is saying that the issue didn't happen in that meeting that Kevin Prince Boateng is trying to say that it happened, but it happened on the training ground. Well, before we actually talk about it, let's listen to what Kevin Prince Boateng has to say. I don't know if you have watched that video already. Don't worry. You can skip this video to the next four minutes so that you um, actually follow up with what I have to say. But you can also have your time and listen to what Kevin Prince Boateng has to say. After that, we'll check out Baby Jetta Samojan's response. I got kicked out from the national team and from Schalke in the same season. So why why'd you get kicked out yeah, of well, Ghana? Ghana? Because I spoke with the president about payments and organization, so I criticized them. Publicly? No, no, in front of them. Okay. Like we had a meeting and I criticized them and I said they can't treat us like like that because we know how much money they make and they should invest in the organization and give the player the money they deserve. So they didn't like that. <laughs> they kicked me out. They Sometimes put it, when you speak the truth, huh? Yeah, you People know, it's like and they put a letter under my door. Oh. I took the letter and no, do you know what? It was six in the morning at the World Cup 2014 in Brazil. They kicked me out no. at the World Cup. And the day we played Portugal in the morning, six in the morning, they put a letter under my door. I take that letter. I just put it away. I went back to sleep. My phone starts ringing from Germany, a friend of mine, a journalist. And it's like, yeah, what's up? Hey, what's wrong? I said, nothing. You got kicked out, no? Wow. I said, what? That is and the and I, still over there. No, bro. And I tell him, I'm, I'm telling him, he's like, nah, I'm not, I'm not kicked out. What you mean? He said, yes, everyone in the news here, they called us. Dude. So I said, give me one second. I put down the phone, I take the letter, and then it says, you're out. I said, yeah, I'm kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> I called him back. I said, yeah, yeah, they kicked me wow. out. Yeah, they kicked me out. Then they said, leave the hotel in 15 minutes and give like your card back and everything. And I was like, wow. What, what game was this in the World Cup? Was the third game in the group stage. So if we win, we go through, we lose, we go out. When was the meeting before this? The night before? The day before. The night wow. before. So me and Muntari arguing with the president. So I come out of my room. I go knock on the door. I said, Sule. He said, yeah, me too. No. <laughs> <laughs> they kicked us both out at the game day. Wow. What? Yeah. So Crazy. did any of the other players speak up? Or? No one. No one. This is, this is the shit I don't like. You know when you go, you're going out and rolling your sleeves up with your teammates, yeah? And you're, yeah. And like, you're doing something together. And one of your guys is getting like suppressed or treated mm -hmm. a bad but I way. I was even fighting for the team, you know? Some I didn't team. fight for Not myself. Not for yourself. No one. Wow. So I don't. Get Gary so you just say... Yeah. They just... Did, you, did you speak to anyone? Did you did you, any yeah, teammates? Yeah, I saw like... them uh, going out with my luggage, like worst moment, bro. You just walk away from the worker with your luggage and Mutari in the back, well, I'll kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so we're walking out and the guy's like, oh, bro, I'm so sorry. And they're like, should we talk to them? I said, bro, if you want to talk to them, you talk, you spoke to them already. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. said, the real team would say, we're all not playing. Yeah. They're staying. Even if you don't play us, just keep us on the bench. Yeah. Don't make a big fuzz around it, you know? 
Yeah, they kicked us out, so we left and went to our families. On match day as well. Match if, day. If the team would have said, yeah, 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 you're in. Exactly. You're in. Uh, yeah, can, yeah. How are you with the Ghana and F F uh, FA now? We're okay. Yeah. They wanted me to apologize. I don't know for what, and I want them to apologize. So both sides don't apologize. But but the country is beautiful. Bro. They love football, so mm. I can't speak bad about them. You know, it's like some people who weren't on the on the right level. God, it's like a Sancho thing. I was going to say, you to apologize, you to apologize. Yeah, Mad. yeah. I was too proud. You know, I was like, I'm not going to apologize. I didn't do anything. Or if you're not in the wrong, yeah, I wasn't in the wrong. Like I really, this was going to be the first time in my career where I wasn't mm. in the wrong. You know. Mm. But uh, it is. Do you think, looking back now, retrospectively, because maybe Sancho thinks he wasn't in the wrong, right? Do you look now and think, well, maybe you should have for the greater good mm, of you doing? Do you think that? Definitely. Just sit down, say sorry, say, I don't know what did wrong. And then just say, how can we do it better? Or we just separate ways, but in a good way, you know, in a respectful way. Like all this media stuff from the back, no one talks. It's just bad. It's just bad. You take that with you, you know, in the future. You take all that. I mean, like Sancho, if I would it would be him, I would just sit down with the coach, with the owner, just sit down and say, guys, what can I do better? Is there any possibility that I have the chance to play in this club again or not? But I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to talk to the press before I talk to you. Let's talk, mm -hmm. you and me, and you know, just just talk. Just, and then the coach can tell him, you're not doing enough. I need this more. And then you can tell him as well, yeah, but I think I do, like you can talk like that on a respectful level and then you just sort it out. Mm. And then you part ways, January is just around the corner. Yes, so that is it from Kevin Prince Boatin, KP Boatin, we used to call him. Yes, um, and um, upon saying all this, he says that the players, they did not help him. So that was when Rufetna was like, so no, no player actually um, stood for you because you were just sacked from camp and everything. And as someone, he came on Twitter and wrote this when people were tagging him that as a captain, you didn't do anything to help, you know, Kevin Prince Boatin as well as Sule, as he's saying that he didn't do anything wrong. This is what Asamoja also has to say. Kevin's case happened at the training grounds between him and the coach in front of everybody. So that was the coach's decision because um, coach felt Kevin disrespected him several times with his cho um, choice of words. Okay, One thing Kevin didn't know is we defended him behind the scenes several times. But on that day, coach couldn't take it anymore and reacted. That was the first time I saw Kwesia Pia get angry and reacted so kevin's case was the coach's call that's the truth as the captain of the team so in 2014 he was the captain and he's saying that um they defended um you know kevin prince but on a lot of occasions but at that moment they felt that you know everything was off because the coach couldn't take it because um if you if you actually know Kwasia Pia, he doesn't really get angry enough you know or more often yes so right after that michael Komiya also came in with a question um you know um also a comment and others so it was twitter banter that i'm actually reading for you he said one thing i've noticed about most players is they tend to blame others for their own mistakes and carelessness. KP Boatin didn't tell the whole story. So that is according to Michael. Then Asamoja replied, what Michael He said, there is only one truth, my guy. So according to him, um, Asamoja is saying that the truth is one. The truth is they try to actually solve the whole thing or defend KP Boatin. But KP Boatin reacted on the training ground, not in the meeting, as he actually said on the Vibrate 5. Now, Abrefi also said this. He says, um, he said, he spoke to the president in the meeting. You are saying on the training grounds, deductive reasoning tells me FA needed just something to kick him out and the coach handed um, one of the best on the pla um, uh, on the platter to them. Still back to him challenging the status quo. So, um, Asamoja came and also replied, um, you know, um, Evans O2. He said, Masa, Kevin is one of the best players I've ever played with in the national team. Great guy by all standards. But there is, on, uh, there is only one truth in this world. The whole sacking issue happened at the training ground. And all the players can testify if there won't be any hypocrisy. So Asamoja is still standing on his ground saying that, you know, everything happened at the training ground, not in a meeting. Well, for Sabasa, um, that is Danny, Danny fake success. I'm a big fan of Capito. But the whole team should uh, should have boycotted the match. Um, okay, and you were the captain. It's one of the reasons our supposed leaders takes us for granted. We don't show solidarity. Okay, then Asamoja says this. <laughs> 
tell the whole Manchester United um, team to boycott training because the coach had a problem with Sancho. Let's be real here. So, Asamoja is just trying to reply people who are accusing him that he was a captain, he didn't show solidarity enough or defend Kevin Prince Barton a whole lot. But I personally, I think Kevin um, didn't say everything that happened in there. You know, according to him, he says that right after that meeting, then they brought, but we all know that, um, you know, there was some kind of, you know, fast that happened on the training ground. So, yes, um, that one actually didn't come to what he was saying on a podcast. But, you know, that is it and this is the whole story now let me quickly round it up for you Inyak Williams was also in action for Bilbao today at the San Mame it was his club they won three goals to nil against Ghana's um, own that is uh, Baba Idris's team UD Ameria they defeated them at home and um, you know Baba Idris also did his best Inyaki um, did great and um, Baba Idris also tried but things didn't work out for him today so that is it for you in this one now let me round it up Nicolas Opoku was also seen dancing upon receiving Black Stars collab he was just so excited you know dancing and other stuff as you can be enjoying it here now this rains nowadays it's raining you know Yes, um, let me quickly give shout out to this amazing guy before I take leave of you. Shout out going out to Nia Kotododu. Thank you. I appreciate you for being here always. Out here, one done. Thank you for the emojis. I've seen you. Imano Amani, you are also here. Prince Aseda, thank you for being here always. Esquise Tousa Alexander, I've seen you. You are doing great. Imano Amani is here. Fekpe Courage, you are also on this channel. Young Meek, thank you for being here. Then I have Tuga. Yes, you are here. Barak says 365. I appreciate you so much. Um, Emmanuel Boatin also on this channel. Becky Beck, thank you for being here. AJ Maxwell is also present. Agbenu Emmanuel, thank you for being here. Foster Maunya, I appreciate you. Then Apeku Abednego, I have seen you. Cooper was zero. Thank you for being here. Azuma Obed is here. Um, Rufino Sabuli, thank you for being here. Richard Edry, thank you. I've seen you. Fenton Daniel is here. Shandi TV, thank you. Amora Jonas, you are also here. Richard Boatin is on this channel. Bretenzi, you are also here. I appreciate you. I have um, Auntie Becky, thank you. Ajimeni Beling, thank you for being here. Then TME Blue View Capital, thank you. I've seen you. Um, then um, this one says, My name is okay. I'm watching you live from Vota Soga City, Tefle. Okay, thank you. I've seen you. Efanama, okay. Ne Nathaniel Guda is here. Adam Isaka is here. Desmond Ajobu is present. Richard Kude, um, Kuje is here. Thomas Afrasekwesi, Amate is here. Jeremiah Inso, thank you. I've seen you. And um, Philip Kofi Hammond is also present. Then I have Prince Kofi Kwajodels. Um, then Dick. Um, Diko Said, Diko Said. Okay, thank you for being here. Samuel Tego, I've seen you. Then I have um, okay, Kwam Law present. Newton Magniba, you are also here. Um, then I have the last three. Christian Uwapo is here. Dominic Chumasi is also here, and um, Dennis Osei Ajman, Vosha Sevanos, Felix Trene and that is that the comments are so many but i need to be doing this for you guys i appreciate each and every one of you who take your time to come and watch me like the video subscribe i appreciate you may god bless you for always supporting us let me know your thoughts in the comment box don't forget to like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this is kenny tv and of course we shall meet later